morning folks still inside uh the sun is coming up i've been up for oh about two hours now i've been editing video and uh the other day on social media i had um one of uh the people on there I'm not sure who it was now uh they asked what is it that y'all do so today's gonna be a little bit different vlog we're going to take you along and show you what we do in a day. Um, some of the things you may have seen before, uh, some things you won't, but we're going to take you along for the ride. Uh, and it all starts right now. So right now I am uploading a video which will come out today as soon as it uploads. Um, like I said, I've been up for about two hours editing. Um, generally got about four to six hours per video. Uh, just uh, what you guys see as a finished product. So that's uploading. Then we gotta go feed and that's when our day really starts. Uh, barring anything happening down at the pens or anything that I have to pay attention to uh, down there, um, we take and we leave and we go do a project. Today, we have a uh, irrigation project for a garden and greenhouse area. We've been working on it with one of our other uh, friends, Larry Strickler. Uh, you guys may know him. You guys have seen him on the vlog before. We built his pump house. So he's been doing some digging for us while we were off doing something else. So come along with us. You guys will get to see what it is we do in a day. Howdy folks. I got the video uploaded. You guys probably already watched it. Um, I've got to head down and get the animals fed and then we got to get on the road. It's about 7.30. So we try to get gone from here um, because we live so far away. It's hard to, to get to the job site early, uh, particularly when you own a homestead and you've got animals and you have to care for them. And sometimes there's things come up. Uh, haven't been down there this morning. Hopefully we don't have anything come up. <laughs> so I'm going to go get the animals fed and get with it. So part of feeding is checking your livestock. Uh, these babies right here, they are gonna be four weeks old on Monday. And 
you always want to check and make sure that they're getting enough milk that their mama is um taking care of them right uh stockmanship or animal husbandry is all about taking care of your stock it's not just feeding and watering which i think a lot of people don't understand that um i noticed that uh, these two are not brother and sister by the way they are uh, out of two different um ewes missy had a smaller but she had she had triplets one of them died so that's i think that's why they're smaller but they are a little thinner so i was wanting to look at her udder just to make sure i don't want to stir them up too bad her udder looks looks a little swelled in the front which i don't like uh like she may have a little bit of mastitis it's only on one half not the other half so I don't like the way it looks. So that may mean she may be down to one, only one tit. But this one here seems to be doing okay. This side, well, she's kind of swelled up in the front. These guys are pretty aggressive when they eat. So she may be, she may be kind of, may just be kind of swelled up from that. They are starting to shed off their coats. So every day you just gotta take a look at your stock and make sure that they're all doing okay. Um, I've had to doctor some of them, so they're a little bit jumpy. But she seems to be walking okay. She doesn't seem to have any abdomen swelling. It just, I don't know if you can see that or not, <clears throat> but she's kind of swelled up right in front of her udder. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that, see how it looks, like I said, it may just be these ewes getting a little aggressive. Uh, at six weeks, they're ready to go. Um, they're already eating, so we got a couple more weeks. But I, I generally like to keep them with the ewes uh, for about eight weeks just to make sure that they get a good start in life. So well, she's kind of swelled up there. Maybe this afternoon, tonight, when I come in, maybe I'll take a closer look at it. Hopefully, she's not getting... A hard bag or mastitis or something like I say these guys when they nurse they're really aggressive I'm gonna get them watered and get the horses fed so what we're feeding the horses here is uh, Bermuda and alfalfa I would really like to have coastal but we can't get it around here during the winter we feed primarily alfalfa uh, we really like to feed chaff hay they ran out of chaff hay around here, so we have to buy what's available. Okay. We are headed out. My my battery died and my uh, card was full. So I gotta charge up my battery. I gotta lock this door. We're gonna be ready for a about a two hour drive to where we gotta go work today. So it's gonna be fun. Almost forgot a rake. Got to throw it in the truck. This Polly's already waiting on me. She's gonna be my chauffeur this morning. All right, now we're leaving. Putting us in a new cattle guard here on the county road. Made it into the big town of St. John's. Alrighty, we are pulling in here to the Gas and Go El Cupido. So I got the big Jake. What'd you get, babe? A chili riano. A chili riano. With carne asada. Burrito. 
Yeah. With carne asada. Yeah, I'm on credit. She okay. is, uh, she's allergic to tomatoes, so. These are really good burritos. I got my mouth full. Really good. We eat here a lot. <laughs> Got eggs. And carne asada. Cheese. With cream cheese. Jalapeno cream cheese they have here. At El Cupido's. Yeah. Oh. I bought. They sell knives here at this gas and go. And this is a queen. This is a three blade. It, it has a hawk bill uh, blade on it also. Really nice little box. Really nice little knife. Um. We got this for a gift for a, um, what is it we're doing? We're having an Easter egg hunt and we're serving food at NT's house plus. For uh, the community. Yeah, for the, uh, it's a community event. Yeah. So this is one of the prize for the men. It's too bad I can't get it. I told Miss Polly, I said, man, I really like that. That's kind of nice, but I'm a knife collector. We gotta eat, and then we gotta run. Got us something to eat, and uh, it was pretty good. Real good. Yes, it was delicious. And uh, now we are on. I don't know what. Right. Something bad is happening. What I don't know. <laughs> oh God, <what> is that <laughs> noise? I don't know. Pop the hood. <laughs> something went. After, something bad happened. Uh, maybe a belt. We only got one. The belt's fine. Needs the front end alignment really bad. Not sure what's going on. I don't know. <laughs> what is that noise? I don't know what that is. The belt's fine. Belt's fine. Here we go. So we're off to the job site. Not sure what that noise was. Uh, maybe the heater. And the heater is not on. There's no fan on. We don't know what's going on. This truck does have 405,000 miles on. Not sure what that was. Hopefully we're not broke down on the side of the road. Hopefully the next time you see us, we'll be at the job site. <laughs> Don't ever know. Uh -huh. Pray for us, y'all. <laughs> I pray over this truck every day. Hey, Lord, please just let it get us home one more time. And I do that every day. All right, here we go. It is our windshield gasket. It popped out for some reason. It was flopping in the wind. Okay. 
think they fixed it. I don't know. It may come loose again. We the it's the windshield gasket. It's it's loose. How does it get loose? I'm burping up burrito. Burritos. It probably just dried out. All right, folks. It's been about two hours since we left the house, a little over. This is the project we're working on here today. My buddy Larry dug this ditch. We started it. There's going to be a, a frost-free faucet right there. Uh, we also have some electrical. We need to drop in this uh, ditch. Oh. Some really hard ground here. These folks have a really nice greenhouse. Already got plants in it. But it does take some electrical. So there's going to be some electrical comes out over there and stubs up. And we have got to set that tank in this hole. Looks like Larry did a pretty, fairly good job. And uh, we have to finish uh, the ditches. And then we're going to put another frost-free faucet. There's one going on that end and one going right over here. So now I've got to put on my plumber's hat and get it uh, get it plumbed up and get this tank set. As you can see, the timeless fence looking really nice. Uh, he, we helped him get this purchased and helped him get this installed. Really nice looking fence, if I do say so myself. So now I've got to get some tools out of the truck and get to work. Miss Polly made it back and she is shoveling dirt. We have 
laid this black plastic pipe she got back with my one inch coupler and i was still short a one inch piece of pipe go figure and we're going to be plumbing the water coming in we're going to have a couple of valves so that we can shut it off and they can just uh gravity feed this tank into their garden and their greenhouse so I'm working on that shoveling dirt you seeded that whole that whole water pipe after you got back so you were yeah. you were really you're really working there oh we got a little bit more plumbing to do tomorrow um and we'll get that all that all put together and uh finish burying the walk pipe we have in the ground already we got a couple of boxes we got to put around some stuff but we worked, I got there what, 10.30, uh, about 10.30, it's 4.30 now, so about six hours. Uh, that's usually what we work, uh, including drive time, that's 10 hours. Uh, so we're out about 10 hours of the day. So we still gotta stop and get us something to eat and then head home and feed all the animals. So. Here we go. We are making a stop at the feed store and we're going to get a couple of bales of hay that way if we do it every every couple of days we don't have to haul a whole bunch at once uh, kind of helps so i'm going to run in here pay for a couple bales and get them loaded up Okay, we got that done, got the, get the water on here. We're gonna ease on down here and get us a slice of pizza or a piece of chicken or a tater and a bean, something. 
mama. Mama likes uh, pizza. Yeah, I like pizza. We don't have a lot of choices in this town. We have sandwiches, burritos, some kind of Italian food. Not sure. Uh, we eat there. It's not. It's not. I, I'm not gonna say that about it. Um, and we have a pizza place. So we're gonna go pizza tonight. Was your pineapple and ham pizza good? Not what I expected. And we forgot to get propane. Yeah. So we got hay, we got water, now we have to go get propane, and it's almost six o'clock. Oh man, it's sun bright. Okay. Uh, don't hit the stop sign. <laughs> Wrong side. <laughs> Seen she was about street, to. I seen the street sign. I didn't she's about to hit the stop sign. <laughs> Alrighty, go get propane. Then we're gonna go home. Uh, folks, we made it home. It's almost dark. Temperatures dropped. Half sun goes down in April. It's probably 40 degrees out here. It's going to get colder. Last night it actually froze ice in the stock tanks. I won't unload this water until in the morning. Uh, just too tired. So we got to get the eggs collected. Get everybody fed, get everybody watered, make sure everybody's okay. And then we might get set down on the couch by eight o'clock. Maybe. Check on all the chickens. Make sure we still got seven and collect the eggs. We've been getting about five from these guys. One of these hens is not laying. One of them's molting and I think she's not laying. The other is our laying. Right. These two hens here have been laying a couple eggs a day. Is that one busted? I can't really see. Yes, it's correct. Okay, I'll feed that to the feed that to the pig. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I ain't checked the booted banies yet. Okay. And we'll check the booted banies real quick. These are the easiest chickens to own. They hardly eat anything. And most generally, they'll give us two eggs a day. Hey, pretties. Hey, pretty babies. And we have two eggs today. They haven't really wanted to go sitting yet. Go to go to sitting, so I haven't bothered leaving them in there. They do eat real good. So how many is that today? My little flock. There's a six, six seven, eight. eight. We actually had nine yeah. because one of them had a hole in it. Yeah. So pretty good. knock over my camera.
I was wanting to check on Missy here. She's still a little bit swelled up, but not as bad. Looks like swellings went down a little bit. I think these guys are just a little too rough on her udder. Like I said, it will cause them to have what they, what I call a, a, a hard bag. Uh, they just get bruised. Um, so that baby there is almost as big as that one. And he is just, he'll be a week old tomorrow or she, it's a, it's a, it's a she. Again, almost big as this dude here is be four weeks old on Monday. So, babies are doing good. Looks like mama's got plenty of milk. These guys are eating good. So I think we're in good shape tonight. Doesn't look like she's in any pain or anything. They were nursing earlier. So I believe we're good to go. Gotta shut the chickens up. We've had some varmints around. How hard to do one hand here. <laughs> uh, that have been digging um, something dug under there today. They're not getting in. I don't know if it's rats or what it is, but um, I don't want them. Hopefully, they won't get in the chicken house. Okay, folks, that is the end of our day. We have made it to the couch. <laughs> it is 8 04, 8 o'clock. So, we're going to kick back. Uh, Miss Polly, she likes to work on word puzzles. We generally will watch a movie. The local library has all kinds of seasons of shows tv shows so we'll get a couple of seasons at a time and go watch them um that's all the tv we have we'll watch an episode or two or three mm -hmm. depending on how good it is if it's, it's really good sometimes we get caught up uh <laughs> and we'll watch a bunch of them but we're going to call it a night thank y'all for coming along with us i know it's probably a long video i included a lot of stuff in it i'll see how much i can cut it down but that's what we do in a day sometimes it's building a fence sometimes it's hanging a gate sometimes it's putting in water lines you never know what we're going to get into but we thought we'd take you along with us today and show you what we do so until next time remember be not weary and well doing for in due season ye shall reap, if you faint not. We'll see you later.